Hi there guys, it's Chris here and welcome to this Corsify review. Now here I am on the sales page and this is a brand new Academy site builder with advanced course selling system, progress bar, ratings and certificates preloaded with 400 plus video courses and eBooks. Today we're going to jump into this and see what it's all about, see if you can make money with it. So before we do, drop a like, hit subscribe and turn on that bell if you want to be updated with new videos. Also, if you want to click off this video at any moment, go to the description next to that green check mark there and that will fast forward you to a part of the video I made just for those of you out there who are dead serious about starting a business online. All right, so straight off the bat, when I was looking into this product, this has been launched before, maybe twice before under different names. So this is what you would call already a rehashed product. Um, as you can see in the top left, I've got this um, Academy Yo demo and Academy Yo uh, is what the old name of course, if I would be and I'll just prove, I'll just doubly prove that to you because here it says I'm on the Courseify page. And if you scroll down, you can see that they've forgot to change one of their graphics here. So here it says Corsify, but on the graphic, it says Academy IO. So this is really the same product. Uh, the reason I say it might have been three different products is that we also have this Learnify here. So I'm not sure. Wouldn't be the first time someone on Warrior Plus rehashed a product. So this is basically a website of what you can create. So really what they're helping you to do is create a site similar to Udemy or Skillshare or something like that, where you can create really a catalog of courses. And then the goal is to try and sell those and make money from them. So the first thing you would do have to do is really create a course. Uh, and then use this platform, Courseify, we'll just call it Courseify, um, and uh, upload it to Courseify and then you have like your sales material and your front page website and things like that. Um, what you would also need to do though is compete with yourself by uploading a bunch of other courses and that's something I didn't really get. Like it's one thing to have a site with your course on it, but then because you're making a course catalog site like Udemy, you're gonna have all these other courses. Now you could say, well, at least whatever anybody clicks on, you're gonna make money, fine. But that kind of takes away the purpose of why you would wanna create a course, right? To kind of sell your expertise, have something of your own, become an authority in a niche. Basically, they've broken it down into these steps. So you create a course using their platform. So you'd be able to add titles, descriptions, add in your videos and your handouts and things like that. That part is all fine. There's also various integrations. So you can integrate it with ClickBank, JVZoo, different affiliate networks, and also email autoresponders. So if people do sign up, you can get them sent to MailChimp, GetResponse, Orba, and uh, you know whatever autoresponder you really have. So we also add a payment method and then you can add the description of your course. And I'm not gonna run you through like setting up a course. You can see what it's about. You add a description, you add a title, then you upload your videos, which you'd have to make yourself. Or they said there's 400 plus courses that you can upload as well. So the third step, as you can see at the bottom here, publish and profits. So as you can see, there's three different courses here. We've got advanced video marketing for $12, Google AdSense, CPA marketing, and if anyone buys these, you make money. So that all makes sense. The part that doesn't make sense though is that where is this traffic coming from? Um, if you are, you don't need a host for this. Uh, so I assume that your host is Courseify. Now, if you look down in the bottom left here, or if I bring up just a bigger, um, the metrics for this domain, Courseify.com, they actually have a domain rating and a UR rating of zero, which means that if they're gonna try and rank for any keyword, like, you know, marketing course or CPA course, they're gonna be on page like 100, no one's gonna see it. So like with a lot of products I review, they seem to have failed on the uh, off-page SEO side. So granted, yeah, we all know, or you should know that if you have an affiliate link, which you can just get from anywhere for free, and someone clicks on it, you can make money. That's the easy part, anybody can do that. The problem is getting traffic to that affiliate link. It is a numbers game. The more traffic you get, the more clicks you get. That's why people emphasize traffic. You're not getting any traffic to your blog unless you're, or to your courses, I should say, uh, because I'm guessing you don't have a huge social media following. That would really help if you were a massive influencer. Um, but if you're not, uh, you would need to create blog content to get organic traffic. You would need to pay for content. Uh, you would need to figure out some kind of marketing method in order to drive traffic to this site, uh, which they haven't mentioned. 
So while you can create a bunch of courses, you can upload video and you can, like there is a blog section, but there are no plugins like you would get on WordPress, like Rank Math or Yoast, which are gonna help you to rank. There's definitely no off-page SEO, so you're not gonna appear in any search. Um, and really the only traffic thing I could find was it says get traffic here and you have social campaigns now what that means is you can share on social media now a lot of products on warrior plus when they get to this huge hurdle where most of them really fail uh, which is traffic they're like well this is how you get traffic and they just give you a bunch of share buttons like share on Facebook share on Twitter share on Instagram and sharing does not equal traffic because when you share it just goes to your followers. So if your followers on Facebook are like your mom, dad, and a couple of cousins and a couple of mates, you know, if they're not gonna buy it every single day, then you're not gonna make any money, right? Um, SEO is just really putting your meta description and everything in the title. That's not really, technically, that tells Google a bit about what your site is and gives it a title, but it's not, it's not a metric for really driving traffic and getting ranking at all. So really they failed um, on the traffic aspect. Um, and this is really what for me puts it, or puts any product in a shiny object category. People who have shiny object syndrome often buy products like this um, because they help you to create something really cool, like an automatically generated course builder or blog builder or whatever, where there's no content but they always fail on the traffic. They always fail on the hard part, the, the, the thing that takes a lot of work. And I would know that as a blogger, most of the work uh, actually goes into building up your domain authority, outreaching, building relationships, backlink exchanges and things like that. It takes a lot of time. Uh, and obviously they don't put that into a product like this. Uh, they'd rather just say publish and profit uh, and leave that completely out, which tells me they either don't know what they're doing which in that case, you don't really wanna follow them, or they do know what they're doing and they're trying to deceive you. So on the sales page, we can probably find out the answer uh, to which one they're trying to do. And the first bit of deception is they've got this countdown timer. Now this product launches tomorrow, um, but they're saying the price goes up in seven minutes. So this uh, is called fake scarcity. Uh, so a de deceptive kind of psychological move, which is just completely unnecessary, but they've used it anyway. Um, here they're telling you a bunch of promises um, about how much money you can make really quickly, but we've already established using pure logic that um, you can't. That's not that's not how things work. You can't just profit, okay, uh, from a site that doesn't have a domain rating. It's going to rank on page a thousand. Three-step process. People with shiny object syndrome love to see this. Create ad payment profit. Um, and here we have a couple of testimonials and whatnot. We have a bunch of earnings. Now these earnings. They could be true, but if they are true, they're probably earned from, um, oh right, it's from their sales dashboard. So this is from selling products. It's not even from their affiliate dashboard, which would be the dashboard uh, that you'd be making affiliate sales from, obviously. So they've screenshotted their sales dashboard, which means these earnings are coming from products they've sold, like Courseify or Academy Yo or Learnify or whatever else they're selling. So that's really how they make their money. Also, these can be completely fabricated as you can see on your screen right now. Uh, very easy to just change the number, take a screenshot and you have yourself some fake earnings. Here we have some testimonials here, which I'm also gonna say are fake, uh, really because the font here is not really the Facebook font. So they've kind of, you know, jimmied that in somehow. Um, we also have some uh, faces here that just look like stock imagery. I've been doing this for such a long time that I could just tell these are not real people. These are probably taken from this person does not exist.com or somewhere like that. You can see on your screen, it's very easy to fake testimonials. Um, here we have sort of a fake kind of framing contrast bias uh, where they're trying to say, look, these people sell courses and they make tons of money. Now what they've failed to do here is that these, these screenshots are actually taken from Udemy. And Udemy does a lot of the marketing for you if you wanna put a course up on your Udemy and you can also put your course on there for free. So Udemy, they're kind of advertising their competition here by saying, look, Alex made 74 grand on Udemy uh, for his course. So that raises the question, if you have a course that you wanna make, just go sign up to Udemy, upload it for free. You have more functions and features. You've got the domain authority with Udemy. And I think they do a bit of the marketing for you as well. I've actually tested that myself and just thrown my own products on there and actually found that I got a couple of sales from doing no marketing. 
So to that fault, really, they've given you what you should do if you want to make a course, which is give Udemy a go. You can also use other free platforms like Gumroad, which is what I use and upload there as well, totally free. Now, if you didn't want to listen to me, if you wanted to pay unnecessarily for this and you believe you know everything that they're saying, what you would do is you would click get access, your money would go, you'd go to the checkout, your money would go through and actually you'd be deceived one more time with a hidden funnel. And that funnel looks like this, so basically, after your money goes through, you'd be hit with a pro upgrade and it would just be another sales page that looks kind of like this one. But it would probably be saying something along the lines of, if you really want this to work, you know, you need the pro upgrade because you get all these other things. And really, you know, that's just, they've just cut that out arbitrarily to try and make more money. Then we've got an authority upgrade and this would happen five times you'd be hit with five other sales pages that they've hidden from you from that front end sales page with a you know done this whole page of sales copy um saying that you know it's really great and you get all this stuff only to find out that half the stuff is cut out and you have to pay more uh, so this is very indicative of a shiny object this kind of hidden funnel very deceptive doesn't make you feel good after you've paid for something to then be told do you you need this too for you know triple the price um and that for me is really the final final nail in the coffin guys uh, i would definitely avoid this now for those of you who are serious about starting a business online only if you're serious do click that link in the description there that will take you through to another page where I talk to you about my Silver Spoon program which can get you started in a robust, honest, freedom business in content and affiliate marketing. The best part is you can get started for free right now on my masterclass, learn everything you need to know to get started and join my community if you have any questions. Currently up to about 200 members so you can get in there and get involved in there as well for free. All right guys, so if you found value in this video, drop a like, hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.